It's Thursday, January 7th. January? <laughs> June 7th. Range day. I'm here at John's house picking him up. And uh, we're going to go uh, do a partial torture test for my new EMP. We're not going to do a full tor torture test because, uh, as I believe that that's probably good in most cases, thank you for zooming out. You're welcome. Um, I'm not going to do that today to this. I don't want to take any chances. So I'm probably going to run uh, this box of 100 Winchester, 115 grain, uh, 9 mil threat, and we'll see how it goes. Waiting for John. He's late. Come on, John. Let's get to it. The lanes are calling. Time for some group therapy. So we'll see you guys in a minute. Bye. Hurry up! Come on! Come on, ugly! Here your video camera. I'm making you famous, shut up. Making you famous? Or infamous. Yeah. Oh, All right. Ooh, don't zoom in on that mug. <laughs> Jeez. Ouch. All right, so here we go. Group therapy time. We will see you guys in the lanes. Bye. All right, guys, here we go for the uh, first shot of the EMP. Not bad. Pretty good group. Inside a handprint. A couple of flyers. I'm pretty happy so far. We got several split holes. Right, right where the uh, the pumper goes. So I took out his pumper. That's for sure. And I also hurt his uh, sh shoulder pretty good. Let's go and put three more mags downrange. Not speed shots. Headshots. We're going for headshots. See how it goes. I'm shooting high and right. Bring it down a little. Shots to the chest. Ready? Wow. 
taped up before we did those speed shots. So, those are my first magazine. Those are the last one. So definitely uh, get my sight picture in. Get that. Right I'm pretty good with that. Let's go ahead and uh, give you the, uh, the lane. Here's Jonathan doing his third time. He's got a rental gun of a Smith & Wesson m and Is that a 40 or 9? 9 millimeter. 9 millimeter. And he's got a uh, his uh, own 9 millimeter that you guys have before. Seven yards just Let's go ahead and zoom in. That was with the M and P. Now we'll see how he does with his standard gun. He didn't shut. That's what we're looking for with John. I only threw three, Dave. Dead bad guy. So you were doing the M&P for the body and yours for the head, right? I did mine for the head and the body. Oh, I saw the second mag for the body and the first mag for the head. Yep. That's a dead bad guy, all right. So what is your overall impressions of the Smith & Wesson m and P? I I love it. I want one. Good, so maybe think about getting that instead of a Tupperware gun? I don't know. I might get a Tupperware gun just to piss you off. Yeah, you would do that, wouldn't you? Would. But having uh, you spend $495 just to piss me off, that would piss you off. Yeah, actually it would. <laughs> so, yeah, that M&P, like I said before off camera, that is a really, it's a popular gun. It's on my want to buy list. And uh, boy, am I happy with the way that thing performs. You know, it was worth the five month wait. So let's do some more. John? All right. Round two of Dave shooting. Call it. Go. That was the first mag. Now the second one. I'm also working on my thumbs forward grip too. And he needs to work on his trigger control. Who's keeping? Very nice. Good all right, a couple of flyers, but mostly I'm within a hand still, a little bit more. I was not really concentrating as much as I was the first time out. I was really working on my, my thumb for grip rather than trigger control that time. So I knew my, grip, my gripping would not be really tight.
What are we going for now, Dave? I'll do a little bit more head work. All right. I mean, even a, in a bad guy situation, I'm probably not going to go for the head because the head goes like this too much. But we'll practice. Partial mag. I'm anticipating a little bit, but he's still doing it. So, for genuinely for the first 100 rounds of my EMP, I'm real happy with that. Thanks a lot, guys. Next up, Jonathan. Just right, slide goes forward. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to do a little competition and see how badly Jonathan, the competition champion shooter, smokes Dave, the amateur everyday carrier. So, John's going to shoot for the left. I'm going to shoot for the right. Best out of two mags. Just one so mag. you all know, he gave me way too much credit there. Best out of one mag, because he only has one mag for the EMP. Yeah, I love those bulls like that. Yeah, you officially suck, Jonathan. Yes, I do. There's no red left in that thing. What? Oh, I was supposed to leave the red? All right, now it's Dave's turn. Although, Last, I gotta load. Dave never loaded his magazine, so now we gotta wait. I won't sing, give you intermission music. I'll just push pause. There's only one way that I can get close to Jonathan's shooting ability. Bench rest. No, I'm kidding. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, he would. There you go, Dave. Yeah, I gave you two more. Quit now while you're here. Very, very sad. Yes, Dave, very sad. So we know that Jonathan did smoke me, which we knew he would. It's a sad day for 1911 owners. No, it's a sad day for me. <laughs> Go ahead, left target. I'm nice. sorry, Dave. Well, they killed the bad guy at least. It's still going. Yeah, that, that's a whole new version of killing a bad guy. Squeeze the trigger, Dave. Don't jerk it. There you go. Shoot 
right-handed. Doesn't matter. Shoot with no hands. Dave's giving me the I'm about to shoot you look. He's shaking his head vigorously. You know, as Justin did say, up here, John. You did mention that my rear sights are really wide, so I could maybe think about improving that sight to get a better sight picture. But overall, I'm not thrilled with my performance, but I'm happy with my performance because I am killing the bad guy. I'm just, I'm not a sharpshooter. I probably never will be. You're a sharpshooter. Works for me. Alright, cut. Alright, Jonathan's trying out the P. Next magazine, do headshots to the silhouette. What? Headshots to the silhouette. I was doing headshots to the silhouette. Okay. Very nice. I quit. <laughs>